I have a iPad Air fifth generation. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. First thing is turn on the iPad. You can press and hold the power button. Once this pops up here, just slide up. First thing, we're going to choose our language. I'm going to go with English. Select your region. I'm in the United States, so I'll tap on the US there. Quick start. So this is a quick start. You can bring your current iPhone or iPad uh, near this iPad to sign in and set up. If you wish, it's a little bit faster. If not, we can set up manually, okay? For myself, I'm going to go manually here. Going to go ahead and choose our Wi-Fi network. We'll probably get a uh, software update. So let me go to my Wi-Fi, put in my password. After you put in your password, tap on join up there or down here, it doesn't matter. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPad. Data and privacy, you can read that and you can learn more down here. After you do that, tap on continue. Touch ID, basically a fingerprint password. You can skip this now and you can do it later if you wish or you can do it now. I would advise this go ahead and do it now. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on continue. Now I'm going to place the finger on the power button up here, okay? So I'm going to up, down, up, down, and just keep on going until the red here fills up. Up, down, up, down, just keep on going. Okay, now it's going to catch the edges of our finger, okay? So I'm going to tap on continue again. I'm going to put the same finger up here, except this time I'm going to touch the edges. Up, down, up, down, just the edges. Just keep on going. Okay, so it's been added. I can go ahead and tap on continue right now. Now you can add another fingerprint if you wish, or you can always do it later as well. Okay, so from here, I'm going to go ahead and click down here. I'm going to click on set up later in settings because I don't really need to set up another finger. But if I do, I can always set it up later. Uh, let me go ahead and create a passcode now. So create your passcode. And then once you do that, it's going to ask you to reconfirm one more time. And I just confirmed. Apps and data. You can choose how you want to transfer apps and data to this iPad. Okay, so if you have, uh, you can restore from a iCloud backup if you have that. You can restore from a Mac or a PC or a Windows computer. You can transfer directly from iPad to iPad, or you can move data from an Android, an Android tablet or an Android phone, or you can go down here and tap on Don't Transfer Apps and Data. For myself, I want a clean, fresh slate, so I'm going to tap on Don't Copy Apps and Data. Now it's asking you to input your Apple ID, your email address. If you don't have one, you can click down here, or if you forgot one, you can click down here. or like me, I want to go ahead and skip this because I don't even remember my password to my Apple ID. So I'm going to tap down here as well, where it says forgot password or don't have an Apple ID. I'm going to tap on that right there, and I'm going to tap on set up later in settings. And I'm going to click on don't use for now. Terms and conditions, you can go ahead and th read through all of this. You must agree to proceed. Keeping your iPad up to date. Let's tap on continue here. Location services, you can enable it or disable it. It's optional. For me, I'm going to go ahead and enable it. Now it's asking us to set up Siri. I'm going to go ahead and set this up. But uh, to use Siri, after we set it up, you want to press and hold the top button, the power button up here. Or you can go, you can press and hold the power, power button up here. Or you can just say, hey, Siri. And then you can ask, you know, what's the weather or so-and-so. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up now. I'm going to tap on continue. I'm going to choose a voice. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, I'm Siri. Hi, uh, hi. I'm I like Siri. this one here. Choose the voice you'd like so I'm going to tap on next up here. Change it later in settings. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. Okay, it's ready. So tap on continue right there. Improve Siri and dictation. You can go ahead and read through that. If you want to share all your recordings, tap down there. For me, I'm going to go with not now. 
screen time, uh, get weekly report insights about your screen time and set time limits for apps you want to manage. If you want to do that, you can tap on continue or you can tap on set up later in settings and set up later or never set it up. Okay, I don't want to ever set that up. We have iPad analytics. We can share with Apple or don't share. It's optional, okay? For me, I'm fine with sharing with Apple and app analytics, okay? We can share with app developers or we can not share. It's optional again, okay? For me, I'm fine. We'll just share it with app developers. Appearance, do you want light or do you want dark? Okay, most of you guys are gonna go with dark. Same as me right there. Tap on continue. Welcome to your iPad. Tap on get started right there. And voila, we are in business. Now, if you got the cellular version, you can go ahead and uh, put in your SIM card now. Or if you want, you can look in the description below and I'll show you how to insert the SIM card as well as double check the mobile settings. Okay, good luck, guys.